What is up, ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls? It's your boy Goblin, and today we're coming in with a banger, a hoot and a holler, if you will. Today we're coming in with the worst cocaine I've ever done. I hope you guys enjoy this video. Drop a like if you do. And also, I want to thank all of the new subscribers and welcome all of you guys from the online class trolling video. I've gained like a few thousand subs in the past like two days from that video so thank you all to all the new people out there say hi in the comments what up everybody let's dive right into this story now ladies and gentlemen this happened back in november of last year and this was right when i moved out to this area for those of you guys who have been tuned into my channel for a little bit you might remember that in the past couple months uh, i've made quite a few videos about me like being on tinder and trying to meet people out here right and when i moved out to the town i live in now back in october I spent like probably two months just straight on Tinder every day because I had no plugs. I didn't know really anybody out here. So I was like, okay, let's figure this out. You know, let's try to meet a plug. Let's try to uh, meet some ladies and see how things go. So I was matching with and like meeting up with girls who like I didn't even want to fuck sometimes. Like sometimes I was just meeting up with chicks for the plug, you know, like that's all it was. And on this particular instance, there was a girl who I met on Tinder who we were kind of friends for a little bit. Uh, I, I think she, okay, the first time I met this girl, she looked a little different than she did on her Tinder pictures. So right off the bat, I was like, okay, well, I, I don't think I'm hitting. Yeah, I don't, think I'm, I don't think I'm going for much here. But I figured, hey, uh, maybe we could talk a little bit, see where things go, right? So... We hang out, you know, it turned out she was actually pretty cool, so we hung out a couple more times. I don't talk to this chick anymore, but we hung out a couple more times. And this was, like, probably the third time we'd hung out. And we were at the point where, like, now she would just, like, uh, come over to my house and we'd smoke some weed, yada yada, right? And it was it was a pretty normal thing. Like, we'd uh, maybe we'd, like, watch something on Disney Plus or some bullshit or, like, something like that, right? So she hits me up and she's like, hey, uh, what are you doing? I'm like, not shit. Let's link. She's like, all right, bet. I, I got a little something, right? I'm like, what you got? She's like, I have some Coke. Now, I moved to this town from a place where I had an exceptional cocaine plug. From a place where my Coke plug had many face tats, okay? A reliable cocaine dealer, all right? I don't know about face tats, but just en enough tattoos to tell you he sold good drugs, right? And when I, any time in the area I live now, when I hear someone talk about coke, I get scared because this area is not known for having good coke, right? I'm further south in Illinois. I'm way further from Chicago now. I'm like closer to St. Louis at this point, right? So, this is not an area known for the cocaine or the abundance of quality or quantity of it, right? So I'm a little worried, but I'm like, you know, yeah, like I didn't know you had a coat plug. And she's like, oh, yeah, uh, we, we could do a little. And I also didn't really know that this girl was into like harder drugs. Like we talked and she told me that she like experimented with stuff in the past. But, like, I, I don't know, I just, I never, I never knew that she was into harder stuff like this. So, ladies and gents, I tell her, come over. Oh, wait, hold on, my girlfriend's getting me Taco Bell, I'm telling her what to buy me. What should I get, guys? Let's get a, I could go for Chalupas. Can you get me, I remember the number, it's a number six. Can you get me a number six beef with hot sauce from Taco Bell? Please, she just got off work, I'm sorry, I need Taco Bell. Okay, alright, let's get back into it. So, I tell this girl, right, I tell her, yeah, come on over. So, she comes on over, she she comes over, you know, I give her a hug, I'm like, hey, how you doing? And we, we have our little chat, and we go upstairs. In my old house, uh, my, my bedroom was just the entire loft, right? My bedroom was just an entire, like, it was the whole story, right? And it was sick. So, it, it, we kind of had, like, this little hangout area where, like, one side was the bed, like... I almost divided the room in half. Like, one one side of the space was the bed, and then the other side of the space was, like, a, a little futon couch thing facing my computer where I could watch uh, movies and stuff. So, 
he kind of she sits down on the futon. I sit at my desk and I I pull up Disney and I'm like, hey, you know what? What are you trying to watch tonight? Because it was never anything sexual. Like we literally would just hang out and like smoke some pot and like watch some like stupid shit, right? Like I was I was never trying to come on to this chick, right? So. She's like, oh, I don't know, let's look. So we're we're looking around, we're looking through uh, different things to watch on Disney, and I think we ended up watching some, like, Gordon Ramsay thing. I, I, I never knew, for, for some reason, there's a bunch of, like, Gordon Ramsay shit on Disney+. Plus. I don't know why or why they have licensing for that, but they do. So... We're watching some Gordon Ramsay shit, and we're, we're ripping the bong, and I kind of forget that the coke is a thing, right? We're ripping the bong, chatting a little bit, and finally, I remember it. I'm like, oh, so uh, what's up with this blow, right? And I'm not expecting anything crazy, but I expected cocaine, at least, and that's not really what I got, I don't think. She pulls out a bag, and it's white. <laughs> I mean, it's the right color, but that's about the only thing that was correct about this. Now, I was trying not to seem like a dickhead coke elitist because this girl was nice enough to spend her money on drugs and bring them to my house. I was like, oh, like, thank you. But at the same time, she hands me the bag and I'm looking at this and I'm like, oh, God, dude. Like, I don't I don't like I don't know if she's really proud of this coke. I don't know if I just come from like too much luxury with coke and I need to settle down and get into the real world or what. But looking into this bag. I saw sadness. I saw poverty. I saw I saw hell. I saw desperation. I saw pain. I didn't see something that made me excited. I didn't see something that got me looking forward to the night. I saw something that was like, oh fuck. And there's only one reason that I even call this cocaine, and it's because that apparently this girl felt it. I never gave her a name yet. What are we gonna call her? Tiffany. We're gonna call her Tiffany. Tiffany apparently felt it. I never felt any of it, but I'm looking at this coke. And I smell it. And the first thing I notice right off the bat is the smell is the strangest thing I've ever smelled. Typically, cocaine is going to smell uh, almost like chemically, almost like a... It just smells like some... It smells almost like acidic, if that makes sense. Like, it just... It smells like you should not come into contact with it, right? That's basically what it smells like. This cocaine did not have that smell at all. It was a really weird smell, and I think the best way to describe this scent was like new money. Like, like whenever you guys go to the ATM and you pull a couple 20s out, and it, it, they're just brand fucking new. Like, there's not a single bend in the bill, and you can smell it just by grabbing it. Like, you don't even have to hold it up to your nose. You just smell the money. It was like that, but like more flat, if that makes sense. Like, it's like the great value version of that smell, right? It, it, it was not very good. So I smell it, and I'm just like, dude, this smells like plastic. Like, what the fuck? But, you know, I'm not saying these things. I'm just thinking these things. I'm trying to be nice to her, right? Because we, at this point, we still didn't know each other very well. We, we stopped talking, like, I think a month after this. I think she got a boyfriend or some shit. I don't know. But either way. So uh, I'm looking at this Coke, and I'm like, oh, geez, dude. That ain't pretty. So I hand back the bag to her, and I'm like, well, do you want to do the honors? And she's like, yeah. So, I had this little bean bag up there, so I pulled the bean bag up to my desk. She sits on it, and we're using my desk uh, as, like, a surface to chop up blow, right? So, uh, she's, she's chopping some up, and she's doing it in kind of a fucked up way. She literally just dumped... She, there wasn't much chopping to be done, first off. There's no rocks here. So, she didn't have to crush it under a bill, but there was just, like, little, like... Okay, they, they weren't rocks, and they weren't even hard, but it was, like, it was sticking together. Like, the Coke was clumping together, almost like wet wet baking soda or something, like, or, like, wet flour. Like, it was just very weird Coke. I don't know what the fuck was going on with this shit, but it, it, it's clumping up and shit, right? Uh, hold on a second. I just got another text. She's asking what sauce I want. I think I already told her that, dude. What the fuck? I want hot sauce. Please, baby. Fuck, dude. Okay, whatever. Either way. Holy shit. So, we're doing this, or she's chopping up this Coke, and it's lumping up. And I'm like, hey, let me try it. Thinking that I could help. I, I'm looking at it, and I'm like, no, she can't be chopping it right. She can't be doing this right. You know? So, she passes me the phone, right? And I pull out my little credit card. I pull out my dollar bill, put it on top. I try to, try to you know, flatten it out, do it the normal way I do it. And this Coke doesn't even, it doesn't handle like real Coke. It doesn't handle like normal Coke. It's it's just clumping together. It's so, th like, it's all powder, but it's so 
thick. It was the weirdest thing ever. And it, it dude, I, listen, I was genuinely worried at this point, but I was also stoned and I, I was fiending. I had done coke in a very long time. And I was like, dude, fuck it. I'm down. As soon as she said cocaine, I was like, whatever, dude, I'll try it. So we're chopping this up and I, I'd heard a lot of rumors. I remember from a uh, Cody's brother, my good friend Cody, for those of you guys who have been around these Chris and my stories, his brother was telling me, yeah, dude, down here, uh, you know, it's it's terrible coke. He's like, I've done some of the worst coke I ever did down here. Uh, and I, I took that to heart, but I'd, I never really took it seriously until this, this occurrence, right? I'm chopping up this coke and it's clumping. And I finally get it. I had to use two cards and, and do some, like, some crazy shit to get this coke to separate enough into lines that were kind of snortable, right? So I, I chop it up into some lines, and there's four lines on the phone. It's two for each of us, right? I let her do the honors. I'm like, go ahead. She's got her bill rolled up. She takes her line. Then she passes the phone over to me. She's like, okay, you take one, you know, and then I'll take one. And she looks like she had a grand old time, you know? She rails this coke, you know, tilts her head back. She's like, ah, you know, she does that thing where she pulls her cheek to the side to open up her nostril, does the, does the... You know, the, ah, you know, and I look, and I'm like, okay, maybe it's got a good nose hit, you know, maybe I just need to settle. Maybe I just need to accept that I'm not always going to get the fire, shiny, oily, uh, cartel Coke, you know, maybe I need to accept that when I live in a place like this, the Coke won't be that way. So I'm going into it with a bit lower expectations, but still the expectation to feel cocaine. I got my bill rolled up, right? She offers me hers. I'm like, no problem, baby. I already got one. I'm a Coke expert. I've been around the block. This ain't nothing. And I rail my line. I rail it, and immediately, immediately, my nose clogs. And that's not a good thing. And not not clogged as in, like, I couldn't smell, but clogged as in, like, it, you could feel this stuff coating my nose in a very, like, thick layer. It, it wasn't going down, and it wasn't really dissolving. It was just the worst feeling ever. And I had the worst runny nose all night. Like, I'd just be sitting at my desk, and my nose would just be dripping because there was all this shitty, thick powder stuck in my nostrils that I could not get out. It was absolutely unfucking bearable dude. So I rail this, and I'm like, oh, fuck. I, I immediately tilt my head back, you know, pull my cheek to the side, try to try to get it up there, but not in, in a, you know, not in like a good way or like a pleasurable way. I, I'm desperately trying to get this down. And the problem is normally you can taste the Coke. When you, when you tilt your head back and you pull your cheek to the side and you inhale, you can really get the taste of that blow going down your throat. And, and you, you get that chemical taste, kind of like how it smells. With this, there was no taste, and that was what concerned me. It smelled like money, and there was no fucking taste. Honest to God, I might have done flour. It, it, I very well could have railed, like, 90% baking soda for all I know. Like, holy shit, dude. My God, the worst shit ever. So I pass it back to her. She takes the second line, like, no problem. And I'm sitting there, and I'm like, okay. We'll do another line, you know, like whatever. I'm already one painful line down the hatch. I at least want to feel something because now my fiend mode is activated, right? Now the powders touch my nose. So my, my brain dick is hard. My brain dick wants more coke. So I'm like, fuck it. I'll take it. She takes her line, passes the phone back to me. I rail it. We got some bullshit Gordon Ramsay Uncharted or whatever playing in the fucking background. I'm railing this blow, dude. I do this line. It's all gone. I'm hoping maybe I'll feel a little different. Literally sober. Like, guys, I actually felt sober. Like, I genuinely don't believe there was drugs. Like, yeah, maybe I felt a little placebo effect kind of buzz, but nowhere near coked out. And, like, I don't I don't know. I just, I did not feel intoxicated like I expected at all. It was a terrible experience. So we go through the night. And she's just annihilating this bag. Tiffany's just going ham on this bag, right? And, you know, she she's kind of uh, sitting up a little close to me off the bag. You know, she won't stop moving, kind of moving her hands around a lot. And, hey, listen, the cocaine makes people horny. So that's probably what was going on with her. But I was paying no mind to it because I wasn't coked up and therefore not horny. But she, she was definitely acting a little amped up, which leads me to believe that it could have been maybe just the coke I was used to doing that made me think this was much weaker than it was. 
But then also there's the smart part of me that realizes this is probably just terrible cocaine, you know? And this chick was probably just used to doing terrible cocaine, which is an unfortunate reality. But she keeps around this coke and offering me more, and I keep declining it as bad as I felt about declining it. She keeps railing this coke. And the rest of the night is literally just spent with us watching Gordon Ramsay, me getting stoned, and her railing coke. And luckily, she didn't want to smoke my weed when she was geek. She was like, oh, that would kill it. So I'm like, hey, you, you do you. So I'm just sitting there sipping beers, smoking pot. She's doing her blow. And eventually, way later in the night at like 3 in the morning, she ended up going home. So it was all fine and dandy. But my fucking God... That was the shittiest garbage cocaine I've ever touched in my life, ladies and gentlemen. I'm very grateful to have the plugs I have. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Drop a like if you did. Get ready for tonight's live stream. We're going to be playing Drug Dealer Simulator. It, it's been a fun game so far. I can't wait to keep playing it. Thank you all for tuning in. I'll see you guys next time. Peace.